In this question, a scientist has a sample of a 0.651 molar ammonium chloride NH4Cl solution at 25 degrees C. So ammonium chloride, we can see because of the solid arrow, dissolves in water fully to form NH4 plus ions and Cl minus ions. Now, the ammonium ion is an acidic ion. So the ammonium ion then goes on to act as a weak acid in a reaction with the water that it's dissolved in. So NH4 plus aqueous gives NH3 and H plus ions. We're told the Ka for this reaction is 5.60 times 10 to the power of negative 10. Our goal is gonna be figuring out the pH of this solution of ammonium chloride this is an example of salt hydrolysis because we have this salt, NH4Cl, dissolved in water. And as a result, we're going to end up with an acidic or basic solution because of the acidic ion NH4+, plus, which is in that solution. So we're going to start by writing an expression for the acid dissociation constant Ka for this reaction of NH4+. Plus. Heading to our reference sheet. Here's our acid dissociation constant equation. Ka is equal to the concentration of H plus times the concentration of A minus divided by the concentration of HA. Now remember HA just stands for a generic acid and A minus stands for a generic conjugate base. In this question, NH4 plus is our acid and NH3 is our conjugate base because our acid lost an H plus to form NH3. So we can go ahead and fill in for our acid NH4 plus. And for our conjugate base, A minus, that's going to be NH3 in this question. So we can go ahead and fill those in here. We've got H plus times NH3. The order doesn't matter since they're just multiplied. And we have NH4 plus on the bottom. Awesome. Next, we're going to complete the ice table for this acid. Okay, so we are starting out with a 0.651 molar ammonium chloride solution. So the concentration of ammonium is going to be 0.651. So we can put that in here at the beginning. Initially, when we just add that, it hasn't had a chance to dissociate yet. So we're starting off with zero molar of NH3 and H+. Then we're going to have a change in concentration as this reaction comes to equilibrium. So we're going to have some ammonium used up, negative X, resulting in plus X of NH3 and H plus being formed. So we can fill that in here, same as for any other ice table. So our equilibrium concentrations are going to be the initial plus the change. So 0 0.651 minus X. And then for NH3, it's 0 plus X, which is just X, and the same for H plus. Now we're going to use the small X approximation here because x is going to be so small that adding x to a bigger number like 0 0.651 is going to have no effect on that number because x is going to be much smaller. So we're using the small x approximation to just ignore the x that's subtracted there. It's just going to be 0 0.651. Okay, so we've been given the Ka value and we now have expressions for our equilibrium concentration, so we can plug that all in to our Ka expression. So Ka, we know, is 5.60 times 10 to the power of negative 10 from the question. The concentration of H plus is X at equilibrium. The concentration of NH3 is also X. And the concentration of NH4 plus is 0.651. I'm going to start by multiplying by 0 0.651 on both sides to get rid of the 0 0.651 on the right. And then also x times x is just going to be x squared. So I've got 0 0.651 multiplied by 5.60 times 10 to the power of negative 10. 
So x is going to equal the square root of that. So x is going to be equal to the square root of 0 0.651 times 5.60 times 10 to the power of negative 10. So if we put that all into our calculator, that's going to get us an x value of 1.91 times 10 to the power of negative 5. So let's go ahead and fill that into our table here. For our changes in concentration, we've got negative 1.91 times 10 to the power of, which is e on this platform, negative 5 for NH4+. Plus. And then for NH3 and H+, plus, we're adding x, so it's going to be positive, 1.91 times 10 to the power of negative 5 for both of those. And lastly, we can fill in our equilibrium concentrations. Awesome. So our last step is finding the pH of our solution. We know the concentration of H+. So let's head to our reference sheet. Here's our pH equation. pH is negative log the concentration of H+. So you can write that down. So pH is negative log and the concentration of H plus at equilibrium from our equilibrium concentration row in our ice table is 1.91 times 10 to the power of negative 5. Put that into our calculator. We're going to get out a pH of 4.72. So let's go ahead and fill that in down here. Awesome. So that was it. This was our salt hydrolysis calculation question. So we've given the concentration of our salt solution, and then we're also given the dissociation constant for either the acidic or basic iron in our salt. We're going to write a dissociation constant expression, and then we're going to use an ice table to figure out what were the equilibrium concentrations of H plus or OH minus B, given our initial concentration of that iron from the salt solution. And finally, we're going to put in our concentration of H plus or OH minus that we find to either our pH or pOH equation. So here we can see, because we had ammonium, which is an acidic iron, in our solution, we ended up with a pH less than 7, because that ammonium iron then went on to react with water to form H plus ions.